All right, guys, we're back here to feed the chickens. I think we're gonna have to do something about this. As you can see, they're wasting a lot of food on the ground. They like to get in their feeders and scratch it out. See it over here? That's a lot of wasted food that they should have been eating. Let's go to the house and do something about it. So this is super simple and it only requires two things. First is this three inch street elbow. It's a 90 degree elbow and it's male on one end, female on the other. And the other thing is a trash can and that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this male end here and set it against the bar here on our table saw. And our gap here currently is two and a half inches to the center of the blade. You'll have to figure out what works best for you, but mainly we're just wanting to cut off this male end and leave just most of the female part without this male end. So now we're gonna be left with, this is the female end, and just a cut off piece here. That's the diameter of the three inches. And then, with this piece here. And we wanted it this way, because this is the uh, male end that was sticking off the other end, so that they will go like that. So that they'll fit together. And we're probably gonna take this over to the uh, belt sander and clean up these rough edges a little bit. So what we're doing is pretty simple is we're going to take this piece, put it inside the trash can and cut a hole. Then we're going to take this piece, the hole is going to be the diameter of this male end right here. We're going to put this through the trash can, put this on the inside, sandwich them together. The trash can is going to be right here, sandwiched between these pieces. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to leave a gap on the bottom of about, I don't know, that much. So that feed when you pour it in there can get under this and the chicken is going to poke its head in here reach down and eat the feed. So make sure when you cut your hole, you cut it up high enough the where when this is on the inside, there's a gap between this and the bottom. I found a friend. Yeah. All right, to cut this, this stuff's pretty thick. I've got a drill bit here. I'm gonna drill a hole just to get started. And then, just use this little Sawzall. Gonna make sure our piece here will fit. does perfect I brought it outside to give you guys some better lighting so this part we're gonna stick right through here it's a little bit of a tight fit but that's a good thing and this part is just gonna slide right on it now with that board we set under it there's a gap in the bottom down there that feed will be able to get under the chickens will poke their head through this hole and reach down and there'll be food right there. So now we're just gonna do that three more times and then I'll show you when we're done.
here's what it looks like finished you got those 90s going down inside with the gap underneath them and you've got the spouts out here or the holes out here where the chickens can reach their head through and last but not least we got a lid pour your feet in it put your lid on it now it is somewhat waterproof let's go use this thing all right we're back here at the chickens as you can see i just set out their new feeder we're gonna get some feed in it and show them where it's at. They're obviously not gonna be used to this, so I'm gonna take a little feed and kinda give them a little trail to entice them to put their head in there. Got food in it, now we're just gonna pop the lid back on, keep the water out, see what they do. I think they're gonna find it pretty quickly. If you've been watching very long, you might remember last spring, or just under a year ago, we hatched a bunch of chickens. I'm gonna show them to you because they are really cool looking. So thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe if you're new around here so that you don't miss any new uploads. And I don't know if I've told you guys, but I absolutely love this truck. Like you don't even know, this is my new favorite thing now. Thanks for watching, God bless.